mic check one two one two a mic check one two one two I go to do a mic check one a mic check two so the last time I have updated you guys I had just moved to Phoenix Arizona and it was a doozy what an experience First of all, let me just say, Arizona in general, beautiful. I love it. I, I haven't really been many places, but to be able to see the desert in real life, all different types of people and real Native Americans. <laughs> I know that's weird to say, but Arizona was just a difference, but it was also a culture shock for me because I am from New York. So um, diversity is nothing new for me, but I'm used to everyone being a little bit more personable I'm used to the city I'm used to just a different vibe in the desert yeah it was a culture shock um all in all I will say that I'm not in the desert anymore I moved back to New York yes um I did enjoy my experience but it was a lot of downfalls at the same time um I moved out there with someone and when you move with people and things and in different energies and there's sometimes it just takes nothing and it doesn't mix and it'll collapse and then that's just no one wants to be stranded especially in the desert totally opposite of the area that you're from vulnerable single mother too much so um i'm back and in between that time since you guys have last seen me a lot has changed, a lot has transpired. Mentally, I am, I'm a little shut down. Um, I'm, I'm really sinking in and processing my life and where I am now, I'm almost 30. Um, in between the time between I've last spoken to you guys, I've also entered my Saturn return. So I am feeling the most heaviest I've ever felt in my life. I feel suppressed on level 100. I just feel trapped. Um, it's just not the vibe for me mentally right now. Emotionally, I feel overwhelmed, but um, I'm used to this Scorpio moon. I'm used to the dark. I'm used to the intensity. I'm used to this. It's just heavy. <sighs> How do you update people when you're still going through it, when you're still trying to see the light at the end of the tunnel? I don't know. I can update you and say that all is well, I'm alive, I'm blessed. I try not to complain because I have the bare minimum of things that I need and I have gifts and talents. I can use my mouth, I have my senses. Like, things are not as bad. But uh, I did take a lot of losses and I am very withdrawn now. I don't really talk to a lot of people still. Nothing's changed, but I'm even more withdrawn. I just don't really trust anybody. I'm estranged from my family. Um, not really so much my mom and my dad, but everyone else, like, they do not hear from me. Siblings, I don't talk to them. I just, I need time in my own space to decompress and figure out what's going on. Like, hear my own thoughts, not what people project on me or the labels they place on me or whatever. Energy they're putting up, off and in, chaos. And I just, I don't, I just want to be by myself um people are always going to make up anything or have whatever version of you that in your head or in their head anyway like i'm not here for that i think that if anything i think that's my true purpose help people along the way but um i just i'm not attached to much right now i'm still single i'm still a lover girl but i'm enjoying my independence right now especially in my saturn return because i feel like if you can't help me or if you at the place where I'm not getting no benefit, anything, or no stability from this connection, the energy exchange is not even. It's pointless. It's useless. So I'm going to be just as useless in your life. Like, I don't. It's not doing that for me. So, a lot of things. A lot of things. A lot of things. But I want to be more consistent now that I'm back. Um, I've had a lot of time to think. I've been making a lot of content. Please follow me over on Instagram at Cosmic Ruby. Um, I just been doing my own thing, my little ones and twos, doing my own hair, doing my little makeup, doing little things to make me happy. Eating healthy. I've been a mom, still a mom. Summer break is almost over, thank God. But 
during that transition back to the East Coast, school was let out earlier in the West Coast. So this kid is having the longest summer break ever. So I'm just every day, day in, day out, okay? But he's about to go back to school, so I want to get more into what I want to do, figure it out, try to get a little corner in the incident like everybody else. Why not? Um, I just want to let you know that I have no set direction. I just want to make videos. I just want to talk. I just want to be open. If it's a story time, it's a story time. If we're doing astrology, we're doing astrology. If we just break the shit down, we off the gate. I just want to let you know that, okay? Um, I, I've tried different little things with this video, I've done, with this channel. I've done vlogs before. I've done videos with my son. I've done questions. I, I've, I'm just everywhere already. I'm versatile. I like different things, a variety of things I can do. Um, but astrology is my interest. So, um, yeah, Saturn return on the astrology level. Saturn return in Pisces. So I'm learning about boundaries right now. I'm learning a lot about self-sacrificing and being left with nothing and left empty at the end of the day at 30 now after all you've given and you look around and you are empty-handed with no one in sight. People turn and then they head act out in ways towards you project just bullshit right so now you're placing boundaries and you're saying no and where people may think that i'm coming off in a off way or a negative energy i'm just really trying to see through it see how i can adjust myself without changing myself um i sat in pisces is in 11th house so that's networking and friends i'm already an isolated person that's already natural but it's going through my Saturn return. It's making me like, it's pushing me because I know I need to be more social and be more open, but I know I can't live without connection. Like it's not healthy to not socialize and stuff, but pardon me because I'm so used to it. So Saturn return for me also is placing boundaries, having healthy connections, and I'm learning how to vet better. And I've learned plenty lessons I've been trapped in a mental cage um, I'm coming more to the sense of who I am I think that nobody can tell me who I am or anything I'm very sure of myself what I want what I see for my life and I'm tired of letting everything else fall the wayside for someone else and that's just where I am so I'm gonna try to be more consistent if there's anything you want to see my next video that I'm gonna be doing I might upload it tonight I'm not sure but I just want to break down some relationships that I've been in and the synastry that I figured out and been able to see now that I understand astrology because I've had a few different connections and a few different relationships that some were obsessive some I, I could care less like for everyone we're like that we all have chemistry depending on who we vibe with and mesh with but depending on what aspects are in your birth chart and how that comes together with someone else's birth chart it can really play out so beautiful thing you can have a lesson in this relationship you can have a lesson of love or a lesson of drama and i sure have my cup full of that and i just want to break down something some things that i've understood especially being now that i'm what am i half a century like gonna be first of all i keep saying i'm gonna be 30 yeah i'm gonna be 29 but basically 30 like who says i'm 20 i'm 30 and yeah my 30s it's a whole different ball game so okay so i just like to talk like i'm just more personality really like i am not a guru influencer i just like to talk i got the gift to gab so Follow me over on Instagram at Cosmic Ruby. Come check me out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And I hope that you return for that. Because when you interact with me, it makes me want to come back. Okay? But thank you for coming to this video. Peace out. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment. Follow me on Instagram. Let me know what it is that you want to see. Okay? Peace out.